so this video is um, intended to all of you who are still starting a relationship with a Filipina woman who was freshly married to a Filipina and you really don't know how to handle her but to all of my viewers who's been married to you know German men for a long time like 10 years 20 years guys you're already a pro um, <laughs> hello to all of you so i think you don't need this video anymore you can skip this video i think for you it wouldn't be interesting anymore hello everybody and welcome back to my channel it's me again your girl dianara and guys today is another video i know to all my constant viewers out there i really do apologize that i've been doing vlogs in my language lately because i can express myself more when i speak in my language especially on vlogs because it's just daily things that i do and i'm not really I'm not talking to a particular subject so that's why i think for some it's a little bit disappointing when you know you're waiting for a video and you cannot understand and also i didn't put any subtitles because it takes some time to really put subtitles guys and i talk a lot in my vlogs that's why sometimes i just you know what let me just upload it and done you know but today i wanted to talk about a particular topic because for the past days guys um if you've been following me on my vlogs, I've been uh, talking about, you know, misunderstanding about couples, which which means me as a Filipina and my German husband. And I told you guys, I mean, my Filipino viewers already know that it uh, knows it that um, we we have misunderstanding, and it's it's absolutely normal to have a misunderstanding because sometimes. You know when I when I upload vlogs and people see it, they always think that oh my god, um, what a perfect couple. Well, not really a perfect couple, but what what a nice couple, very harmonious in life. You know they don't fight, or maybe they tease sometimes, but they don't fight. But guys, in reality, I tell you, we fight a lot. Me and my husband, we fight a lot. Um, um, of course, I'm not going to show you how we fight because you know we we also have our privacy. But do know that it's very normal that. Um, Couples fight regardless of what race, regardless if you're African, American, German, or or Filipinos, Asian. You know, people just have misunderstanding. Um, just imagine, you know, you have misunderstanding, you know, between you and your mother, you and your brother, your sisters. That you are, you know, you 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 grew up together. You have the same blood. You still fight much more couples because they're not really related. Normally, I always talk about German men, but now I want to do a reverse. I want to talk about how to understand your Filipina wife or girlfriend more. How to live a much more, well, not so chaotic life. <laughs> because I've been living a chaotic life, guys. I tell you, uh, me and my husband, we're really good at it. <laughs> we have a lot of misunderstanding and... And when you have a lot of misunderstanding, guys, you learn a lot from each other. I learned it the hard way because I didn't have any one. I mean, I, I didn't knew any any YouTuber that was a Filipina and married to a German man who you know who were fighting and stuff who had misunderstanding because every time I see couples online when you know filipinas and german they always are i don't know like um a cop a couple that's always so so happy and joyful and full of love and sana all <laughs> you know it's like oh my god what a dream but you know they they never talked about um how to fix problems they never talked about um you know all the not so pretty stuffs in in a married life or in a in a relationship as girlfriends and boyfriends so right now i want to talk about more on my side as a filipina and in this channel guys i talk a lot of of german men because i have a lot of filipina viewers and they're really curious on you know how to deal with their german husband or their german boyfriend but right now i want to talk about us Filipina because I think it's very important that the Germans also know how to handle us because um, I tell you guys my husband 
which is a very wonderful man. A very, um, he's naughty, but he's he's still good. Um, my husband is the kind of German who is not really interested about my culture. Well, it's not in a bad way that he's not interested, but the thing was, me and my husband, we met here in Germany. And like other German and Filipino couples, most of you, you met your German wife online. So your girlfriend or Filipino wife is still in the Philippines when you get to know each other. You know, so that's the difference. So um, if that was the case, you as a German, of course, you are trying to research some stuff online on what are Filipinas like, you know, because because your Filipino partner is actually still living in the Philippines and you want to get to know her more. And in that way, um, for you to be able to know her more, you must do a little bit research online on how to deal with her, which is a good thing. But the difference between me and my husband is that I was already here in Germany. So I was the one who was adjusting in his culture. So my husband had it the easy way, I should say, because he he is not really, you know, he, he doesn't need to to research about about me because I was already here anyway. I mean, I'm readily available. <laughs> if he has questions about my culture, he can just ask me. He doesn't need to do more research. But the thing about my husband, he really doesn't ask me about my culture. Of course he, you know, of course he asked me like, oh, how's the Philippines? You know, Philippines is such a beautiful country, blah, blah, blah. You know, he's just more of like touristy things. That is what he is interested in too. But in depth, things like my um what are the filipino culture or what are what are the traits of a filipina woman you know what you know stuffs like that that is very it's actually quite interesting but my husband really you know he doesn't care about that as long as he's married to me i'm you know we understand each other that's for him that's much more important that's where the problem arises because when a german does it really know the culture of the Filipina then yeah and and the most important thing is that you have to know that Filipinas you cannot compare us to German women I think that's the thing about about my my husband and I because sometimes he forgets that I am a German guys sometimes you forget that I'm German so you know um, for example finding a job Especially if you're if you're Filipina is fresh from the Philippines, you know, fresh from the coconut trees. <laughs> no offense, guys. It's actually a I don't know. It's a compliment when they say oh, fresh from the coconut trees. I think it's a compliment. It's coconuts. Are, I love coconuts. So if you're Filipinas, just came from the Philippines and she arrived here in Germany, um, expect that it's a lot of work because. We are Filipinas, we're not German, we were not born here. We need some some help, we need some assistance. And the thing about my husband is that for him, sometimes he forget, he forgets that I'm not German. Um, you know, German women, um, a little bit of a background because I've been working with German women too. German women are very, um, very strong, independent women. I tell you, they're very strong, independent, they're, um, they're, uh, goal driven they're very hard working I mean really hard they're more like a feminist you know that's that's how I picture German women they they like to do 50 50 you know and when it comes to paying bills they like to share a lot you know they they don't like that men um, pay most of the bill you know they or like if you if they go out to dinner German women don't like the men, you know, treat them because some women gets gets insulted because they tell the man, hey, why would you pay for my me when I am also working? You know what I mean? We have to be equal. That's I think German women likes equality. In comparisons to Filipina, we are I mean, I'm not saying all, of course there's like modern Filipina, but you know, the Filipinas who are a little bit old school. So maybe I'll say sixty percent of the Filipinas are still old school. I'm still old school because that's how I grew up. And um, we like to be treated like women. You know, in the Philippines, we still have monsteries, we have daiseries, you know, we like sweet things. We like men to be a little bit gentle 
uh, more corny, more romantic. That's how we like it. We like chocolates, we like flowers, we like teddy bears, you know, this corny stuff. That <laughs> I mean, for German men, they said like, hey, why spend flowers for 50 euro and you know what I mean? That's doesn't make sense. But that's how Filipinas are. Filipinas like corny things. Um, <laughs> might be childish for some of you but that's how filipinas are like she likes texting a lot or calling a lot and you know sometimes when you don't text her in one day she feels like oh my god what's happening are we breaking up you know she's constantly on the edge because she doesn't want to lose you and that's that's just how filipinas are like even, some filipinas are even uh, the jealous type like overly jealous overly protective that's that's us guys and you must understand that that's just normal um, because I receive a lot of messages from the Filipinas and telling me you know what Diana um, I don't understand my German boyfriend because my German boyfriend don't text me anymore and and she, I've been trying to to uh, email him he's not replying and I tell him you know what just relax maybe your German boyfriend is just busy at work and you know he's out of his friends but just chill he just needs some time then he's gonna reply to you and when he's available so you know just check on your filipina girlfriend um you know every now and then even if you don't really like to text her at that time just tell her that yo i'm okay don't worry about me i'll text you then tomorrow and the second thing is guys to all my german men out there try to prepare yourself that if you marry a filipina and when she's here already um, especially with the paperwork and stuff Prepare yourself that it's going to be a lot of work. It's gonna be exhausting because my husband was exhausted. Um, he was exhausted because he has to do so many things for me, uh, which I really appreciate. He has to um, do my, what do you call it, with my um, curriculum vitae. You know, when you're applying for a job, this, he has it's not my Lebenslauf that my husband must must do it for me i know it's for some it's embarrassing but i'm not embarrassed because at that time when we were still fresh from the relationship i really didn't know how to write a, a cur curriculum vitae in german i never i never learned that because i although i went to the german school but i was so busy at at that time when i was still studying because i also I was working so i was not really concentrated and i was not expecting that i'm gonna marry a German man and, and I didn't expect that I'm going to stay here in Germany for good so for me I took it very lightly how to write write stuffs you know write formal stuffs and business stuff I was not really I, I just you know what I mean it, it was for me it was just I had just had to go to school because I just had to I thought that you know after a year I will be going back to the Philippines and live my life but it was not the case I was married and I lived here already so problem was when when it came to work I had no idea this way back like I don't know two years three years ago I had no idea how to write a, a curriculum vitae so my husband needed to do it for me you know uh, all the telephone um, stuffs or all my my visa stuff my husband needs to do everything and that's very exhausting because my husband also has a problem on his own but he has to handle my problem so he feels like he's taking care of a kid which is true even up until now i feel like my god honey this is really so stupid you know sometimes maybe he thinks that i'm stupid i'm not stupid it's just like um, i just need time to learn these things again and i told my husband you know when i have the time i will go back to school and learn how to write this you know i mean it's not gonna be hard for me now because i already know how to speak german but i just need to learn how to like write formal things because here in germany they have a system on how you know how to write stuff of course you can google anything guys you know i can google stuff and i just can copy paste and google how to write but that wouldn't be authentic anymore that wouldn't be coming from me it came from google so you know stuff like that small things but big things and this is what you must be prepared for be prepared for having some headaches in your life because nobody tells you this you know nobody tells you that this is also part of the package of marrying a filipina but i tell you guys it is 
it is exhausting. My husband is also exhausted at this stuff and he always complains <laughs> about it. As of now, it's also a lot because I'm pregnant. So the problem is now that I'm pregnant, I didn't know about this guys. I didn't know that you have to have a midwife starting from your pregnancy because in the Philippines, it's different when you're pregnant. Um, you go to, you know, you you search for a an ob you know, an ob -GYN. And then your or for your Frau in arts, you search one and then when you have one then you know she's gonna do things for you. But we don't really need to do any paperwork. But here in Germany you have to do a lot of paperwork just to, to be able to have a a what do you call it, a security from, from the government. You know, at least the government can help you a little bit with with money issues or like with the baby things and stuff. There's a lot of paperwork guys i tell you it's very exhausting and the problem is i cannot help my husband at this time because i don't know how to do it and my husband also don't have time to sit down with me and teach me stuff because he has to work and most most of the time he does all the paperwork while he is at work so you know while he has um some some free time at work you know when he's at his lunch break then he can do all the paperwork and type in it's a lot of work i tell you that's why um my husband is always exhausting that's why we're fighting because because i'm a filipina but i'm telling you if you teach your filipina you know how to do this stuff then it wouldn't be a problem for you um you know you have to send also your filipina to a german school or of course the filipina can also pay for it you know some filipinas are you know working women and they can also provide for herself and of course you can just tell her that you know it's very important that you go to school first and then study the german language and you know all this step by step you know taking things a little bit slow but for me it was different because i couldn't take things slow guys at that time when we were still in a relationship with my husband i was already living here and of course, I also have to support myself, so I had to work at the same time. So working and studying was not really, um, I didn't have time for both. So I think that's that's also a thing. So that is a very important thing that you as a German guy must know. Now that I am pregnant, I think this is the most, uh, this is the present thing that we had a problem about is that in the Philippines, um, I actually talked about this in my vlog, but it is in Tagalog, so you wouldn't understand it. So I'm going to tell tell it to you in English. So in the Philippines, guys, when a woman, a pregnant woman, um, is craving for something, you know, in relation to food, um, it is our belief that the husband must, must oblige or comply, rain or shine. <laughs> if, even if there's a tornado, you must get what a woman once you know for example if a woman wants a mango at 3 a.m you must get her a mango at 3 a.m okay when it's not really possible because all the supermarkets are still closed in 7 a.m but as long as the mango is there you know what i mean uh, and my husband don't get that my husband don't get this stuff and he said like yeah why should i drive you when you can just drive yourself because i tell you guys german women are independent <laughs> my culture uh as as what our our grandmothers or you know our ancestors would tell us like you know when you're pregnant and your your baby what the baby wants the baby gets and that is the responsibility of a husband because if the baby don't get what it wants you know it wouldn't turn out to be a beautiful baby you know i know it would sound a little bit ridiculous for some of you but this is our culture that is our beliefs and uh, you guys must respect that and for my husband he doesn't know that he doesn't understand it that's why we are you know we had a misunderstanding so you know small stuffs like that that people must understand that it's very important for a filipina you know it's very important for a filipina that you respect her religion because some of us are very religious and some of you guys are not religious and maybe you you take it very lightly but for us it's not you know things like that so guys i don't want to keep this video so long but i hope you get a hint of it <laughs> i hope it helps um, it's not all there's still a lot of things that we can talk about but that's it for now and thank you very much for watching this short video i love you all and i'll see you on my next one bye bye Mwah. peace